Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 5, page 47. Thank you for joining in today. And today we have this problem before us. We have here, we have 8, 5, 15. In this example, we have 5, 7, 10. And here we have 16, 7, and 63. Thank you for joining in today. And do well to subscribe, like, and share our videos for more quantitative reasoning and mathematics problem. And if you are a teacher, kindly check on the description section and you'll find resources to our online teaching career course and also a link to our community for digital teachers all right let's get to it so for this example let's uh work on finding 15. so to find 15 okay so we're going to have 8 minus 5 equals 3 and here we're going to have 3 times the same number here that's 5 equals 15 8 minus 5 equals 3 and 3 times 5 equals 15 okay so next we're going to find 8 so to find 8 we're going to be making use of uh this uh equation right so we're going to have our uh, 8 here now, to find 8, what we're going to do first is to uh, subtract. Remember, the rule here is subtract this this from this. Okay, so we do not know what this is. So we're going to call that x minus the number here. That's 5, right? Which is equal to, we don't know, y. Let's assume it's y, right? So whatever it is we've got in here, we're going to multiply with the number here that's 5 equals the number here that's 15. Hope you get that. So let's call this equation 1 and here equation 2, right? Now remember, uh, this is a grade 5 work and children at this level are familiar with algebraic processes and they can make a uh, certain uh, equation subject formula so we can make a uh, make a uh, x a uh, x subject formula subject of the formula in equation one make y subject formula in equation two okay so here it's easier so here we're going to have our y equals 15 divided by 5 right and 15 divided by 5 is 3 all right so we found y so what we'll simply do is to substitute substitute y equals 3 in equation equation one okay so since our y equals three we're going to have our x minus five equals three and doing this we have our x equals three plus five which is equal to eight okay so that's it for our eight so let's find our five so let's use this part to find five Right, so we're going to be uh, utilizing this equation at the same time, something like this. So our x, we already have 8. So we're going to have 8 minus our unknown, which is x. Let's call this x now. Equals y, it's unknown. And our y here times, let's use this something bigger, times our x equals 15. And we're still going to call this equation 1 and here equation 2. Okay, so what we're going to do is to substitute. We're going to substitute y equals 8 minus x in equation 
2. So we have made uh, y subject formula from equation 1. So we're going to substitute that in equation 2. Right, so wherever we see x, we're going to impute this. So, so wherever we see y, we're going to impute 8 minus x. So here we have 8 minus x times x equals 15. I'm going to do this. Equals 15, right? So this is an equation. So we're going to have 8 minus x times x more like collecting like times equals x squared equals 15 right so let's rearrange this equation and when we do that we're going to have our x squared minus 8x plus 15 okay so having this we're going to factor out factorization Two numbers that when we add them, we have minus 8x and when we multiply, we have 15. So using factorization method, we are going to have 3 and 5, right? So we're going to have x squared, right? x squared minus 3x minus 5x, okay? plus 15 right so we're, so we're going to have x here and here so here we're going to factor out here x bracket x minus 3 and here minus this what goes out here we're going to have 5 x plus this times this is minus 3 Okay, so we have x minus 5 and x minus 3. So our numbers here is 5 and uh, 3, right? So using trial, trial and error method, we're going to use, get uh, 5. So that is it for this. So to calculate the problem given, for our number one, for the activity there. So the answer to number one is six. Number two is one. Number three is 10. And number four is 14. And number five is zero. All right, do well to subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and problems. Bye.